Welcome to Art with Albright. I'm Emily. I'm glad you're joining me for the lesson on this bunny rabbit blowing bubbles. I don't know. I'm feeling spring has sprung. So everything I'm doing right now is little bunny rabbits. Um, so I hope you're enjoying the bunny rabbits uh, theme that I've got going on. Uh, my little girl, well little, she's 12, was outside blowing bubbles. So this is a a tribute to my young little lady who uh, loves to play bubbles still at age 12. Uh, I think uh, children should never grow up in that area. So yay, I am just going to have a pencil. Um, I'm using my card stock. You can write in your journal. Uh, you have a stomp. That would be great. If not, don't worry. Uh, this one doesn't require a whole bunch of uh, blending. So let's get started. Decide where you're going to place your bunny on your page. I did it a little to the right. Um, we're going to start with the head and build the body going down. So figure out where you want to put that and let's get started. I'm going to draw real light as usual, real loose, um, just real sketchy. Don't, don't be, you know, a perfectionist right now. We're just going to get started um, building our character, building the shape and the body, and we can always go back and decide, you know, where we want to change and what we want to do. Oh, I hope the lighting is okay. I'm having such a difficult time with lighting and sound and my, my lovely antique computer here. Uh, if you knew how old my computer was, you'd probably laugh at me. So let's look the... Um, the, the rabbit is going to be looking up this direction, so I'm going to just draw a little line right there to help me figure out where I want to put the nose. So right here I'm going to slope down the head and go out toward that line. Do you see that? Let me zoom in for you. I love drawing bunnies. They're just so much fun. So I drew out to there. I'm going to slope back down and toward uh, the body. So there we are. And look what I did. I found, um, I get so excited when I, when I get new art toys. I found this Mono Zero on Amazon, so I just had to order it. It's so tiny. It's a little eraser, so I can get into all these little nooks and crannies. I get excited when I get a new um, art tool or utensil, whatever you want to call it. It helps me want to draw... I don't know, I'm a little weird, but I like new things uh, to encourage me. I like new art books, new YouTube videos, so I hope you are um, one of those that challenges yourself to get outside your own box and, and do different things. So from here, we're going to pull in that um, the face, and then we're going to take the arm out, and we're going to go straight up like that, and we're going to have it wider here and taper it in. And then this little guy is going to be holding a wand, so let's just draw a circle right there, just a little circle right at the end. That's going to help us shape that hand. And look at me, I'm going to get my cute new eraser. Yay! Oh, there's so much fun. I know. Call me a dork. It's okay. Now, I'm going to start um, coming down. I like this slope, and I'm going to pull it back in just a little bit, and then we're going to put an oval out here for the foot. There you go. And it's, it's kind of a flat look to it, so I'm going to curve the bottom right here. I don't want him to look like he's flat on the ground. He's, he's got, um, you know, shape and body to him. So I like the curve back there. And then on the back, we're going to add part of a circle for the tail. So far, so good. Excellent. Now his head is tilted back. So I want the, the ear that's closest to us to be larger. So we're going to draw kind of an oval shape back here. Pull that back into the head. And then the other one on the other side of the head, we're going to see the back of it. And it's going to be, it's going to be tilted backwards. So we don't see the inside of this one, but this one we're going to see the inside. So let's draw that thickness there. Grab my cute little eraser. I know, I said stop talking about it because now you want one. I know, the things we do. So there we are. I'm liking this a lot. Um, I'm going to pull this one up. Just give, give it a little more definition there that there's two ears there. And then I'll use my cute little eraser for that. Wahaha! So for the nose, I'm going to put a cute, oh goodness, I keep saying cute, sorry. There we go. 
So right here I can still see the circle that I had um, to start. I'm going to use that as my guide to where I want to put the eye. We can only see one eye, so put your, your L right here to mark where your eye is going and that the little bunny is looking up at all the bubbles they're blowing, right? Oh, you could probably draw a couple of bunnies on this page playing bubble blowing. There we go. Now I'm, I made my L a little too long, so I'm going to use my handy dandy eraser. My screen is leaving me. There we go. Now I hope you like the the YouTube videos I make, so smash that like button. You know my plug. Share, share, share these with your friends. Come on, share them with your friends. Get the word out. Let your friends learn to draw with me. Have some fun, right? Oh, there's my dolphin. I love my dolphin. And my favorite shark. Rawr. Hello there, my friends. My shark goes with me everywhere. You know, it's kind of crazy. So now, um, let's see here. I'm going to erase this little line here that connects that. We need another foot. Look at your placement. Uh, nearer objects are larger. Um, so the, the other little paw is going to be smaller and tucked back in there. So that's okay. That does not look very great. Let's uh, <laughs> let's change the placement of that one a little. Um, I like this here. There we go. Is that better? Okay, I'm liking the little bunny. Let's give them some whiskers. Some there. They're coming down, so I'm not going to put any on the other side. Now the hand. The hand, we're going to draw the little thumb right there, and then the other fingers are wrapped around, so we're not really going to show off. Uh, the fingers there. So then put your little stick right here coming down with your little circle or oval or a heart shape, however you want to do yours. I think this is so cute. Now let's add a horizon line. It gives your eye placement um, where your object is on the paper. Let's give a, a little horizon line there and a bucket of, we're not finished with the bunny, don't freak out yet. Um, a little bit of a bubble bucket, okay? You can have a pan, a dish. I did mine as a painter's bucket because I like to paint, so I have a bunch of those lying around the house. And it's easy. I just did a four shortened circle. Pull your lines down. Do the bucket like this and then curve. A lot of people like to put a straight line down here. Don't be tempted, okay? If you do it flat, it's not going to look 3D. Then I put a little handle on the side and curve it and wrap it around. There you go. Then the thickness, since we're looking straight at it, the thickness is going to be all the way around the back right there. So then I'm just going to color that in just a little bit to look like bubbles and give a little shading on the side. When you shade, you're adding darkness to the side of an object that faces away from your um, imaginary light source. So mine is over here. My light source, the sun is shining right here where my pencil is, and it's coming down this way. So all my shading, um, all my shadows that are on the ground will be toward the left. So excellent. Now we're going to do the bubbles very, very last. Okay, so hang with me. I'm going to darken in my bunny. I'm going to add some texture. I'm not going to do a whole lot around the head. Um, but down the back, I'm going to just do a couple of zigzag lines going down the back. You know, I think I want the, the tail to look like it's on the bunny, so I'm going to erase that right there. Good, good, good. Now let's take our zigzag and go all the way around, make it look like it's going in one direction, and bring it in up a little right there. So the, the arm, we can add some texture on that. Give your eye something to feel. And I'm just going in zigzag motion, okay? Right there. And the foot, we're not going to do a whole lot of detail because he's just a cute little, cute little bunny, okay? I've said it like 900 times. Pat yourself on the back for enduring the, the cute bunny syndrome, right? Now, here we go. I'm ready for spring. Are you ready for spring? Spring needs to come and stay. Tornadoes go away and ice and weather and all that. So let's have an anchor shadow on the ground for our bunny. Coming down 
to the left because our light source is coming from the right. And, oops, I just had like a spasm in my hand, so we'll fix that. Pale is casting a shadow on the ground opposite the light. Good, good, good. Now, for my bunny, I'm going to put some shading because I'm going to add darkness where, where there's no light over on this side, okay, right here. And anywhere there's overlapping, we're going to add a little shading. And I like to do that near the armpit area, under the hand, bottom of the tail. Going a little fast here for you, so you don't, you can pause. I don't want to bore you if you've already finished your bunny. Now for the bubbles, we want to figure out our placement. Okay, you don't want too many. You want grouping. You want balance. You want, you want to to make it look awesome. Now he's blowing this one. So we want it in a circle that's pulled out a little, okay, because it's still going. Then put a little reflective line and, and, and um, rectangle, square, whatever shape you want there. Then let's add a few bubbles that are going off in the distance. Now the density is when you're drawing objects very light and less distinct to make them look further away. So you want to make them look a little lighter as they're going further off. Okay, so make big ones, little ones. Um, don't make them perfect circles. Okay, this is your drawing and you do what you want, but I'm going to draw them like some are really far away. Now when my daughter was blowing bubbles, she had them in all shapes and sizes, all shapes and sizes. So, and by meaning shapes, some were like oblong because it was such a windy day. So I enjoy watching her blow bubbles. Now I'm going to put these little curves inside of my bubbles to give the illusion, you know, that reflective line, to give the illusion that there's a light source. How do you think about that? Now if you have a stomp, you can grab that and blend the areas that you want some shading on your rabbit. This is looking really good. I'd love to see yours on your your art on Facebook. You can tag me. I'm Art with Albright um, or Emily Depew Albright um, on my own Facebook page. You're welcome to to put that there. I enjoy seeing so many um, wonderful pieces. And when I'm when I'm using my blending stop, I'm only doing the one. Uh, on the on the bubble, I'm only doing the side opposite the light. Okay, give that little bit of, of idea that the light is reflection. Okay, good. Well, what do you think? You like that? Awesome. Definitely uh, subscribe to my channel and share it with a friend. And uh, more bunny videos are coming up. I even have a frog that I'm about to do. So. Um, keep drawing, keep challenging yourself, and please share with a friend. Bye, guys.